bear with me. Um, uh, this has been a labor of love for 10 years, and every year the committee, Michael, Candelaria, Terry, we, every, every year we say never again. <laughs> Seeing your faces, being here tonight, we realize there's absolutely no way we cannot do this again. <laughs> we, we did a lot of things differently because it was our 10th anniversary and we really felt like we wanted to make this a celebration. And we did that by peppering this festival with people um, and films that would make you think, that would make you feel, that would make you cry, that would make you laugh, that would make you feel like it was so important to hear these voices and these voices of color. And we've done that by bringing Robert Townsend and Shirley Ralph and Michael Ely and Paul Burnett and, and Ruby Dean and Ali Sheehy and Ali Sheehy as well. Because we wanted to say we celebrate independent film, an independent film that celebrates people of color. Um, and I think we have achieved our goal. which is recognized and helping pave the way for young African-American yeah. actors and filmmakers. And whereas Ruby T, who is a longtime resident of New Rochelle, New York, was inducted into the Western, the Westchester County Women's Hall of Fame on March 30, 2007, joining the ranks with past honorees Hillary Clinton, Sally Ziegler, and Nita Lowry. And whereas Ruby T has been nominated for eight yeah. Emmy, yeah. Emmy award-winning, winning once for her role in 1990 TV, on Decoration Day, she was nominated for a television guest appearance in China Beach episode, Sky Clark. Her late husband, Ozzy Davis, also appeared in the episode. And whereas, Ruby Dee has been nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 2007, an American Yankee, she won the SAG Award for the same performance. And whereas, at 83 years old, Miss Dee is currently the second oldest nominee for Best Supporting Actress. This was Miss D's first nomination. And whereas Mrs. Ruby D is participating in the Roxbury Film Festival produced by At Roxbury, the Color Film Collaborative, being the largest film festival in New England dedicated to screening films by, for, and about people of color. And be it therefore on, on that August 3rd, 2008, be declared Ruby D Day. Yes!